Hello everybody. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday everyone. I'm a little bit late <laughs> later than I said I will be here. Um I just overindulged. Uh I overindulged in a little bit of sun. Um it's kind of amazing. I was just outside in in this blouse without a jacket. It was absolutely awesome. <laughs> it's probably going to last till tomorrow. I probably tomorrow gonna be in my fur hat, but today <laughs> that's a part of Michigan. Today we have sun and uh, I just have some time outside and it's total awesomeness. So it's total awesomeness to get to get some energy. And I was thinking, guys, about the topic uh, I talked yesterday on happiness. Hello, Kevin. Hello, Gino, and everybody else. And I was thinking how when you live in Michigan, you know, when you live in a place where sun is a big treat. You know, what if, uh, hello, Adrian, what if I would be, uh, and everybody who lives in Michigan would wait for sun to feel good, like would wait for worms to feel good, would wait for um, some sunlight to smile. <laughs> so then I would only make videos probably like once a month and uh, <laughs> being um, cheerful and happy. So when you live in a place where there is not so much sun and it's cold, you find sun inside of you. You you just have to. You have to find sun inside of you. Hello, Glenn. Congratulations on a Sunday or <laughs> Sunday sunny um, Sunday. So and that is connecting with the topic, guys. I want to cover today. Sometimes I feel that my message is uh, sounding like, well, if only you find Ukrainian woman, you know, your life will become a fairy tale and you will be happy forever. And I want to make sure I address this and, I, <laughs> and I'm the first, I would be the first person to admit that it's absolutely not true. It's absolutely uh, not what my message is about. And what I'm trying to say. So <laughs> today, um, let's talk a little bit about this. And <laughs> hello, Lance. Hi, everybody. Let's talk a little bit ab uh, about this today. Uh, you guys know that my channel is, of course, about the mentality differences, about the relationships, about the different culture i talk a lot about what ukrainian women can bring to the table but ukrainian woman isn't a cure for uh or a russian woman or spanish woman isn't a cure for your life and how you feel about yourself and how fulfilled your life is um, it's a very uh interesting subject where sometimes when we find ourselves um in emotional down spiral we think you know what this is all because you know we are single you know this is all happen happening or I am not happy be just because you know I'm single and all these American women oh my god uh, this is yeah, terrible and uh, you know God knows uh, you know because of them I'm not happy and my last 25 years of marriage were awful you know, <laughs> I talk to so many men and uh, who are watching my channel, and I do understand the struggle by any meaning. I don't want to underestimate, guys. Some of you um, have had some challenges and pain and, and going through, through breakups and all of that. But I have to <laughs> tell you the honest message that uh, communication with... Um, any woman, for that matter, not just Ukrainian, will not fix you. It will absolutely not fix you. Because you got to address those issues if you have uh, some pain, if you, you know, have been in a relationship or whatever uh, issues you were experiencing. You have to fix that first. You, you have to address those things uh, you have to not only fix those issues, but you have to find those things that make you fulfilled, that make you vibrant, that make you you, that bring the best of you in you. 
you gotta do those things and um some some of you guys maybe not work in the job you like to work and you know when you go out maybe you know you go out uh socializing here in us or you travel you basically stay in miserable 360 or 350 days of the year you know you are not on your mission you are not doing in life what you want to do and i would honestly say if you are you do not feel like you are living your purpose if you're not on your mission if you are not feeling satisfied with your life i would be the one to tell you take another year uh and not travel to ukraine in some ways take that year to find a better position for you to find a job or to find a hobby or to find a place from where you can feel better about your life because when you put all of these expectations on a person you put a lot of pressure on the relationships and this person is supposed to fill all the voids and all the holes you have and it's not a good place to start a relationship with it just really not and as much as um i think the travel is refreshing and if you can afford it and if you can put it in your schedule uh by all means and i actually had a conversation with somebody this week who told me you know i'm not fully recovered from from breakup i just had but i would like to go to ukraine just to pull myself out of the routine i'm not necessarily um looking to get engaged or jump into a relationship but i just want to help myself to get out of this rut that's a little bit diff of a different thing so you're not coming out of desperation you come in just to spice up your life and maybe get motivation um get inspired and live your life with more zest you know with more joy and maybe discover some things that may, will make your juices flowing. It's it's not always the easiest uh, thing to do. So I have here today uh, some of my VIP members and uh, some of my followers. I want to hear what you guys, if you could, if you are able to write a comment, um, feel free to do that. I just want to make sure that you guys understand um, it's a wonderful idea to um, explore to make connections to meet new people to um, discover uh, the benefits you know or the excitement or amazing things about international dating and traveling and all that but the the thing is here is to attract that partner who would be who will be attracted to your completeness to your wholeness to your fullness and can complement that with the present and can jump with you on the mission that you have in life. Women are not attracted to guys who write long letters. I'm going to say it again. Women are not attracted to guys who like long letters. And I will tell you why. If you have the time uh, in the middle of your day, in a, you know, sometime at night, instead of working on yourself, uh, whatever part of life you're working on, physical, spiritual, business, communication, whatever you're working on, if you have time to sit down uh, for an hour and write three pages of uh, whatever fantasy you have in your head to the person you never met, that is the most uh, unattractive thing that you can do because you also do not respect the other person's time and they don't know you that well they're not interested in you that well 
to spend their hour to read in, to read your letters. And guys, um, those <laughs> some of you know exactly what I mean. And this video is not particularly about this. That will be a whole separate life about the long letters. But the guy who have things who has things happening in his life, who is working on himself, who is into self-development, who is growing, who is developing business or he is creating things in his life and his career. Um, he doesn't have time to sit around. Women can sense these things. And especially for Ukrainian and Russian women, we do not want a man on a couch. We don't need um, a guy who can, who doesn't have something substantial to fill his time with. There is nothing like a man who is not on a mission, who doesn't know what he is doing, and he's trying to impress women. In this case, uh, you know, writing long letters. Uh, just want you to understand that when you you know the best you know I, I would say the attraction quality number one is a busy man the man who not just busy to be busy but man that has purpose man that has his schedule full whether he is entrepreneur whether he is semi-retired retired, retired uh, whether he has a career with a state, whether he's, he works in a retail store, it doesn't matter. But when he has a mission, when he has a purpose in life, when he has his goals, yes, you have some time, uh, maybe once a week, he make time for you. Uh, I mean, okay, I'm talking to guys. So you guys <laughs> make time for your for the person you're talking to. Maybe one time a week you sit down and talk. You're not distracted by texting and calls. You just talk with her. You're giving her time. You're making time for her because she's important. And she knows, hell, you are busy. You know, so she's excited to talk to you too. She's making time for you too. G guy who is wandering without purpose is not attractive to the lady but even worse he is not doing a favor for himself so instead of writing three pages of letters do something with your life do something take action toward your growth and instead of sending a lady you know the stickers and hearts actually get <clears throat> get off the couch and do something else you know send you real flowers you know but again guys that's um, a bit of topic um, I will make a life on, uh, on communication, but I just couldn't help it to say about long letters. I have guys who are like, Veronica, can I drop you a line? And then I'm like, hey, sure. And then I open my email. It's like five pages. I'm like, seriously, you think I'm going to be reading this? Well, that's different if that's, uh, for the consultations I'm doing. Of course, I'm researching. That's different. But, um... Guys, watch on this one. I'm serious. Uh, Adrian is saying, It is refreshing to the heart to be able to build an empire with a soulmate. And I absolutely agree with that. So, you do. If you want to build an empire, you know, you, you, you have to be the founder of it. You have to be a founder of that place. And you cannot be a founder if you think that going overseas is going to be the things that will... Uh, fix you <laughs> because it's it 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 won't <laughs> um when you are on a mission people and things that you will meet and encounter will be the right things for you to 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 complement that mission it's like when you know where you're going sometimes the whole world help you to go that way because you see possibilities you attract people who are on the same page so on and so forth. Very good comment, Adrian. Yeah, and Kevin is saying if you are not happy with your life, uh, she, <laughs> she, 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 she probably won't be happy in it. That's what I think you meant, Kevin. So, yeah, Lance is writing. I struggle to find time to write five lines. And guys, uh, I promise you, 
the communication uh, will be addressed about the writing and about the effort. I wasn't trying to say don't put effort uh, when you communicate with your lady, but um, imagine, imagine that you are at work and you met you met the most gorgeous woman you ever dreamed about but this woman every hour she's wondering how you doing how you feeling what's up oh could you talk to me right now oh my god and you know she keeps uh, just interfering with your day it's 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 just you will lose attraction to her even if she's angelina jolie even if she's I don't know, Megan Fox or anybody else. I don't know. I, I don't watch TV, guys, so I don't know who's the hottest, uh, the, the dream woman right now. I really have no idea. But even if that would be her and she keep texting you and writing you and begging for you to, to talk with her, I give it a week and you'll be done. So... You don't want to be the prototype of that kind of neediness. And Ukrainian women definitely won't fix everything. And, you know, talking about trauma, talking about depression, talking about um, overcoming those things, you know, by, by any meaning, I don't want to underestimate or kind of be judgmental. It's normal, it's a part of life to go through, through, through certain, you know, experiences like that. But if you know you have it, go to therapy, uh, go to travel on your own. Uh, discover those things that make you stronger. Maybe those habits that will make you stronger and happier. And um, self-love, it's something when you choose to do things that make you feel that uplift you that make you feel a bit happier a bit stronger and every day we have a chance to be a little bit stronger every day we have a chance to grow a little bit to overcome a little bit more so if you know you're not quite healed do not count do not put the pressure on somebody else to um heal your your pain to to fill your void because you will you will meet the person that is just like you uh one last thing i want to say was an example i know somebody in my in my surrounding who has been um searching um kind of totally focused and searching and searching and searching for a lady for probably last five six seven years online Meanwhile, uh, his career, um, his career got, you know, he got some serious issues with his career, with his family. He treats his uh, family not so great, uh, very impulsive, not respectful, uh, sometimes good, sometimes bad, uh, kind of going through this feeling of void because he was relentlessly looking for a match and he couldn't you know he couldn't quite find it through quite a bit of years and he gets his frustration out on his family excuse me guys he gets his frustration out on his family and instead of focusing how can i appreciate my family more how can i generate love and 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 um and surround myself with that you know overflowing feeling of love to people that i have right now how do i show more respect uh to my family that maybe need me now how do i um work on my career so i get that sense of self-expression and fulfillment doing what i love instead of that he kind of slowing that down and he's totally focused on on this uh, dating thing and i'm looking at this and i'm like i'm thinking to, to myself the only thing you need to do is starting doing what you truly love you don't have to worry about dating you don't have to worry about websites the only thing you need to do to 
to lift yourself up and rebuild yourself and there is nothing wrong with falling down guys there is nothing wrong with falling down to the uh, complete uh, zero it's a part of life uh, sometimes it happens but not somebody else will come and give you a hand and you just have to lift yourself up and for men especially it is the thing of purpose uh, doing doing the work that fulfills you or at the at, at that point doing any work that um, brings values value and helping people when you put yourself in that state you you lifting yourself up and then starting to starting to treat people around you with consistent positivity with consistent care because the woman that will come to your life if she see how you treat your your parents or your sisters or anybody else if she will see that that you you aren't ready you take your frustration out of others and you only nice to her if she's smart she will realize that in a couple of years that's gonna be her so that is just some some living example that i see uh, from time to time and i'm just i'm not asked for advice so i keep quiet and i don't express what i feel but i see this person once in a while and i'm just like all right let me see guys what you're saying lance is saying i'm skyping with a lady once every day and it's perfect good good works for, for her works for you you don't consistently send you hundreds of messages and looks like you schedule match adrian saying sometimes i think of it like a lady is a flower and, and the man like the soil the best soil will have the flower to bloom it's very beautiful adrian i like it very true um or you know lady is a flower or love is a flower and the man is a gardener that's kind of how i sometimes see that so yeah you do have to become a good gardener or good soil according to adrian and me <laughs> you you really um you can have all of this but you get to start with the right end because a lot of us when we are we feel lonely we went through breakup or somebody hurt our feelings we try and immediately to pull something else in it you know to uh find a quick fix to find some some like band-aid and or just go for something crazy uh but in the long run it's not a quality fix and i totally believe in exploring and in meeting other people it can be wonderful and refreshing just do not have that condition on it that these people owe you something and when you come into a relationship and like i'm a good man you don't give me affection you know as if somebody could do it on demand and if somebody owes this to you because nobody owes you anything that's just how it is so guys um i hope that you have a wonderful week put some things that you love doing on your list maybe you are right now doing a lot of things you don't really you know if you would have more choice maybe you wouldn't be doing put something on your list that brings the best in you basically put it in your schedule you know maybe it's writing reading working out dancing i don't know whatever it is put it on your schedule because you you get your charge sometimes from those little things and if you have some major things that are wrong maybe you should wait till you go um uh, and try to bring someone else in things that are broken maybe you should give yourself some time to find some things some activities some um, purpose that you can be doing maybe it's helping others something where you can feel the healing when you can get your life together you know maybe it's a new career path and you can be a lot more 
happier and a lot more um, just happy, satisfied with yourself. So that's what I wanted to say, guys. Um, you want to come to the state where you do need a woman to take care of you, of you but you want you don't need her but you want her you want her in your life you want her in every part of your life you have a place for her and it's just your desire you know you you cup is full you have a lot to share you are doing things that deeply satisfying you you totally have a place for her and you're not coming from the place of need and fix me you coming from the place of want i want it i have a possibility for it and i'm excited and eager rather than coming from i need it and i need it now and if it won't happen my life will stop or my life um would not be satisfying it's almost like this formula where you find the way to make your life awesome as if nobody else will join it you know it's like as beautiful as it can be so the other person comes as a as a compliment to your fullness and completion and your feeling that you are in the right place in your life. And believe me, somebody, when you are living your truth, when your thoughts, actions, um, your feelings are all in harmony, they're going to be maybe not even one woman and probably even more people that would love to be there to share the experiences with you you won't have to uh go out of your way to grab somebody and drag them into your life they would come and they would be happy to stay so as i always say work on you first thank you guys have a wonderful week ahead and I will see you very soon.